Good day friends! Do you have any idea what is tension in your pneumothorax? Oh, you don't have any, huh? Watch this video to have a grasp what is tension in your pneumothorax because I, Marikan and Sario from level 3 will discuss what is tension in your pneumothorax, its causes, signs and symptoms, and treatments. Let's start! Tension pneumothorax Tension pneumothorax is a life-threatening disease that happens when there is a continual entry and trapping of air into the pleural space. It occurs when a damaged tissue or hole in the lung serve as a one-way valve, allowing air into the thorax during inspiration but preventing it from leaving during expiration. Each breath raises the pressure in the chest cavity, thereby squeezing the lungs, heart, blood vessels, and other chest tissues. The pleural space is formed when the two layers of the pleura fold over one another. The pleural space includes a thin layer of fluid that keeps the two layers of the pleura from rubbing against each other in normal circumstances. However, when the pleura is damaged, air from the outside or from the lungs can freely enter the pleural space, but cannot leave the area. Tension pneumothorax can be caused by Chest injury Lung collapse can be caused by any blunt or penetrating chest injury. Some injuries occur as a result of physical attacks such as gunshot, knife wound, or automobile accidents, while others occur as a result of medical procedures that require the insertion of a needle into the chest. Lung disease Lung tissue that has been damaged is more likely to collapse. Many underlying illnesses such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, cystic fibrosis, lung cancer, or pneumonia can cause lung damage. Mechanical Ventilation Tension pneumothorax most commonly develops in patients receiving positive pressure mechanical ventilation. A severe type of pneumothorax can occur in people who need mechanical assistance to breathe. The ventilator can create an imbalance of air pressure within the chest, making the lung collapse completely. When there is a tension pneumothorax, the pressure builds and builds, resulting in increased thoracic pressure, which causes compression in the unaffected side of the lung and the heart, which is not good and a mediastinum shift in which the heart, trachea, and esophagus shift to the unaffected side. The vena cava, which drains and transports blood from the body to the heart to be oxygenated, will become compressed, causing the heart to become tachycardic. You'll raise your heart rate because you'll notice that you're not receiving enough blood to the organs and tissues you need. But there'll be nothing to pump so you'll be tachycardic but hypotensive because it will lower cardiac output. All in all, the clinical picture of a tension pneumothorax is often characterized by respiratory distress, stenosis, marked tachycardia, profuse diaphoresis, marked hypoxemia, tracheal deviation, and jugular vein distension. The treatments that are given to the patients with tension pneumothorax are high-flow supplemented oxygen and needle decompression. The patient with a possible tension pneumothorax should immediately be given a high concentration of supplemental oxygen to treat the hypoxemia, and pulse oximetry should be used to monitor oxygen saturation. Needle decompression of the chest, also known as needle thoracostomy, to allow trapped air from the pleural space to be released. It equilibrates pressure between the pleural space and the atmosphere. It does not make the tension pneumothorax go away but it will decompress the large air collection that is mechanically interfering with the cardiac and pulmonary function. It is only indicated for tension pneumothorax. In an emergency situation, a tension pneumothorax can be decompressed or quickly converted to a simple pneumothorax by inserting a large bore needle at the second intercostal space mid-clavicular line on the affected side. This relieves the pressure and vents the positive pressure to the external environment. 
Following needle decompression, the implanted needle is kept in place until a more permanent chest tube can be introduced to relieve the residual air. A chest extra is generally taken after the chest tube is placed to ensure that the tube is in the correct location and that the lung has successfully re-expanded. You may need to avoid certain activities that put extra pressure on your lungs for a time after your pneumothorax seals. Examples include flying, scuba diving, or playing a wind instrument. To summarize our discussion about tension pneumothorax, we just need to remember that tension pneumothorax happens when air enters pleural space, but air can't leave the space which put pressure on lungs, trachea, heart, and other structures. It can be caused by lung diseases or any physical traumatic injury. Symptoms are shortness of breath, acute chest pain, decrease blood pressure, and increase heart rate. Treatment is needle decompression. I hope you learned a thing about tension pneumothorax. Thank you and God bless.